Hi everybody, welcome to Dr. Manny's YouTube Learn Shops. This is part four of continuous renal replacement therapy and this is where we look at adjunct information that you might consider to be of value to you when you understand the Prismaflex unit. Okay, so what we're going to do is just review briefly Prisma sets, HEMA filters, color coordinate night lines, sample sites and transducers, priming solutions, Prisma sol fluids, warmers and heaters, the battery backup, and selected mode screens. Now let's review the Prisma Flex unit in relation to accessories. Adjuncts to therapy. They've got kits as most therapies today have. These kits are user friendly. The Hemo filters, the first one you've got the M60 and this is the smallest one. It's got a surface area of 0.6 meters squared and the application is for patients above 11 kilograms. Recommended blood flow rates for this filter is between 50 and 180 mils per minute and it has a priming volume of around about 93 mils. And the recommended length of time for its use is not more than three days, 72 hours, even though it can go beyond that. Then you've got the M100. It's got a slightly larger surface area at 0.9 meters squared. And this application is for patients above 30 kilograms. The recommended blood flow rates are from 75 to 400 mils per minute and it's got a priming volume of 152 mils. Also recommended length of use, not more than 72 hours. Essentially because the filters become less efficient, regardless of the fact that they're working. Then you've got the M150 and it's got a surface area of approximately 1.5 meters squared, the largest. And the application is for above 30 kilograms. And the recommended blood flow rate is from 100 to 450 mils per minute. And it's got a, pri a, a, a priming volume of approximately 190 mils. Also recommended length of use, three days. The Prismaflex has color coordinated lined sets. And this is to orientate you as the user to the fluid pathways. Yellow is effluent, like urine. Access is red, to pull blood out. I guess going away from the body, similar to arterial, even though it's not arterial. Return line blue, dialysate green. Sample sites are also colored, which orientates users to the fluid circuit. So for example, I mean, if you're concerned about blood in the effluent, you could do a sample of the effluent urine to see whether there was actually blood leaking out into the circuit, which was not visible. Or you could access the red line, which again could give you information about APTTs, activated cloning times. So the color sample sites can provide information with samples. Then you've got color-coded transducers, and they inform about fluid circuit pressures. They measure pre-filtered transmembrane pressures, and also return access effluent pressures. And when it comes to priming, it's fairly standard, but again, you have to follow your hospital guidelines. Typically, priming is with one or two one liter bags of sterile normal saline. And this is either with or without anticoagulation according to the nephrologist or the physician who's in charge of the hemofiltration. There are prismosol fluids which consist of replacement, dialysate, pre-filter and post-filter. But again, they're going to be delivered according to the hospital guidelines and protocols. And there are a number of different solutions. For example, here you've got a chart and it will indicate to you what fluid has what electrolytes, what fluid has got what base, how much lactate, whether it's got dextrose or not. 
and these are ordered according to the therapy that's required for the patient. For example, if they're hyperkalemic, you won't be giving a fluid that is high in potassium. You'll be choosing the one with no potassium, which again would be the last one on this list. Prismazole BK001.2, dextrose-free, potassium-free. Then you've got the heating units. Prismaflex has got the Prismatherm 2, which is a fluid warmer. And the temperature range is typically between 38 and 43.5 degrees centigrade. You've also got the Prisma Comfort, which is a blood warmer, which has a temperature range between 33 and 43 degrees centigrade. It's a backup battery. Now it's not very long, but if there's a power failure, you've got a 15 minute opportunity where you've got emergency operation of the battery. However, it doesn't run the whole pump. It only runs the blood pump to stop any coagulation and will give you an opportunity to return the patient's blood rather than waste it. Now, some of the Prismaflex operating modes, now I've modified this, these are only examples, but it gives you an idea of what happens. So in the setup mode, you get instructions. Choose the same or a new patient. Choose the therapy. Choose the mode of anticoagulation. You load the set, you prime the set. You enter the treatment settings in the setup mode. So for example, it would give you a screen here that says load the set and you always follow the instructions. Enter treatment settings. This is just an example screen. You enter the specific flow rates that you want. There are default settings, but typically here um, the uh, physician will order what they want and you will enter them. In the standby mode, this typically occurs after priming. It automatically goes into standby so that you can connect the patient, you verify the patient's connection and you reconnect the patient or you may stop the therapy. In the run mode, the status screen soft keys are visible and they are enter the flow rate that you want, enter the syringe pump settings that you want, here do you need to change the bags, history, system tool and you can examine the alarms if you choose to. Very user friendly. If you want to end the therapy, these are the mode instructions that you might get. End treatment, return the patient's blood. Now that's optional. Hopefully you do try and return the patient's blood because depending on the set that you're using, M60, M100 or M150, you can lose anything from 70 to nearly 200 mils of blood. And if the patient's anemic or critically ill, maybe they can't afford to lose that amount of blood. You can disconnect the patient, you can unload the pumps, um, you can have the treatment being complete. These are some examples of the Prisma Flex selected screens about information, advisory, cautionary, malfunction and warning. So, here's an information screen. It's telling you it's time to normalise the blood leak detector, which means you've got to do certain calibration tests on it now, otherwise the blood leak detector may not alert. So the machine tells you it's time to do some preventative maintenance, normalize the blood leak detector. Here, it's telling you, adjust the deaeration chamber because it's too high in this situation or it's too low in that situation because it may, again, it may not give you the information that you want. Now an advisory screen is in conjunction with a yellow status light and this informs the operator of an action. So the patient and the system are not immediately at risk but it's giving you information. This is an advisory that says a self-test is in progress. Now the Prismaflex does a periodic self-test every two hours to make sure all 
the safety systems are working correctly. Another example is your filter's clotting. It doesn't mean that it's clotted, but it's advising you that possibly there's something wrong within, within the filter which could be related to the transmembrane pressure or it could be related to the filter drop pressure which indicates that blood isn't flowing as nicely through the filter as it should be. It's advising you to be aware. Then you've got a cautionary screen. Still a yellow status light. It informs you as the operator of an action. The patient and the system are not immediately at risk, but it's a little bit more than just advisory. So for example, caution, the dialysis bag is empty, or the effluent bag is full. Do something about it. The blood pump continues to function, but you won't be getting any more effluent being pulled off out of the patient's blood. You won't get any dialysis occurring because the dialysis bag is empty. It's cautioning you to do something about it. Then you've got a malfunction is red. Now if it's a malfunction it's red, all the pumps will stop. And the return line clamp will close. Treatment has stopped. So for example, there's a malfunction in the blood leak detector. Or it's a warning. Blood leak has actually been detected. Treatment stops until you rectify the situation. You can override warning alarms as well. However, it does it for 60 seconds and then it alerts again. Air in the blood, another warning. It's a patient hazard. It puts the patient at risk. Treatment is suspended, return line clamp closes. The filter's clotted, everything stops. Because if the filter's clotted, then it puts the patient at risk and the system at risk. So let's review. Choose the CRRT that pertains to the movement of solutes through a semi-permeable membrane from a high to a low concentration. Is it peritoneal dialysis, scuff, continuous venous hemodialysis, continuous venous venous hemofiltration? The correct answer is CVV HD, hemodialysis, diffusion, high to a low. Solutes that may be removed by CRRT include which of the following? Urea, creatinine, potassium, or is it all of them? The correct answer is D. All of the above can be removed, depending on the fluid that you're using and the therapy. Question three. A disadvantage of CRRT is that it may promote hypothermia, hypothermia, hypertension, or none of the above. Typically, it's hypothermia. That's why you've got heaters. CVHDF stands for which of the following? A, B, C, or D. The correct answer is A, continuous venovenous hemodiafiltration. The Prismaflex CRT set contains which of the following? A cassette, four pump roller segments, colour coded lines and pressure transducers, or all of them? The correct answer is all of them. Hemodiafiltration is CVHDF, utilizes both hemodialysis and hemofiltration therapies, removes solutes by convection and diffusion, does all of them. 
or the Bav? Which one? The correct answer is all of the above. Types of anticoagulation may include citrate, heparin, prostacyclins, or all of them, depending on the situation. The correct answer is all of them are forms of anticoagulation. Question 8. Choose the correct Prismaflex CRRT status indicator combination. Warning red, caution yellow, normal function green. Is it all of the above? The correct answer is all of the above. Question 9. A red alarm will alert for which of the following problems? Air detected, filter clotted, blood leak detected, all of the above. Which is correct? The correct answer is all of the above. We'll activate a red warning alarm. Question 10. A green status light indicates which of the following. Air has been detected, the filter has clotted, a blood leak is detected, or is it normal unit functions? The correct answer is normal unit functions. So, in conclusion, for part five, Prismaflex CRT is a strategy for acute kidney injury in the critically ill patients as it removes not only waste products, but other molecules such as toxic cytokines, which are targeted for removal, especially in septic patients. The Learn Shop, part four, also added important features that related to the Prismaflex unit, set, and adjuncts, but is by no means complete for your practical competency. CRT Learn Shop, part five, will review the multi-filtrate unit by Fresenius and the circuit as a comparison to the Prismaflex unit and circuit. But both are excellent devices to use for CRRT. Thanks again. Now following this Dr. Manny CRT Learn Shop, please review part five. And if you found these of any benefit to you, again, please recommend them to your colleagues and subscribe and ask if there are any other courses or loan shops that you would like to participate in.